connective audio interface right here. This is the device that you'll connect to your speakers and to your mixer uh, to use with torque. As you'll see on the back, there are four inputs and four outputs, along with a ground screw and USB connector. And on the front, you also have jacks for your headphones and for a microphone. Now, the most basic setup is to just plug your main speakers into output A of the uh, connective. So left into the left, right into the right, and that basic connection will power your main or will feed your main speakers, and then you can plug your headphones into the headphone on jack on the front, and then you're able to cue your music using the cue knob and headphone volume knob on the top. The basic setup of the connective is such that the master output feeds outputs one and two, and the cue output is set to three and four, which is going to the headphones right now. This is how you use the internal mixer mode, meaning that anything that is played here will be mixed by Torx internal mixer, the song on the left, or the song on the right, and as you'll see, the crossfader fades between them. It's also possible to use the connective with an external mixer, such as the one I have here. You're going to need to be able to feed two individual channels of signal to this mixer in order to be able to mix it using the crossfader here. So simply connect the second output of the connective, and now these two channels, or these go into the left side of the mixer, while these two channels here go into the right side of the mixer. In Torque, you'll switch the mixer mode to external, and now you'll see that playing the song on the left and playing the song on the right is now controlled externally through this mixer instead of being controlled internally inside Torque. There are also two sets of inputs here on the back of the connective. This is where you're going to hook up your turntables if you want to use external control. The left turntable will hook up to input A, and the right turntable will hook up to input B. If you're using CDJs, you'll hook them up to the same inputs here, but instead of choosing phono as the input, you'll switch over to line. So I'm going to take the left turntable and plug it in to input A and the right turntable and plug it in to input B. I'm then going to take the two ground screws or two grounds and screw them in to the connective so they're good to go. Then this whole unit can sit behind my mixer and then I plug my headphones into this mixer and cue from here. If you're wanting to use external control You'll first enable external control in the control panel, but you will also need to choose the input channels used for external control. Control input A for deck A is on inputs one and two. Control input B for deck B is inputs three and four. So once this is set, now you have control of the music from external turntables. And now you can mix between them as if you had two regular turntables with standard vinyl on them.